The Amtrak train from San Francisco is a comfortable way to travel. We pass Blackberry Choke Wetlands on the three hour trip to Merced. These trains are a reminder of the original train service to Yosemite, long out of service. From Merced, it's a very pretty bus ride to Yosemite Park. It's through small villages with lots of tourist accommodation. It's obviously a popular destination with good fishing and lots of wildlife. Now and then the river widens and there's barely a ripple where rainbow trout lurk, awaiting the fisherman's lure. Sheer mountain cliffs are amazing, clearly visible through our bus window. Just a sprinkling of snow today as we head for our lodge. The little ground squirrels were running around everywhere, eating nuts and gathering nuts. Our lodge, Yosemite Lodge, is situated just below the Yosemite Falls. The water falls from the top of the cliffs like hair blowing in the wind. The picnic tables don't look very inviting today. They're half covered with snow. As we walk down the track, the thunder of the spectacular Yosemite Falls drums in our ears. The bobcat looks pretty comfortable hopping around in the trees. It almost looks as though he's somebody's pet. I guess the wildlife, especially the birds, would have to look out for him. There are lots of deer hiding in the woods. They're pretty timid, hard to get near them. We are having a look around Camp Curry. Some of the staff who work at Yosemite stay here. I don't know about the tents. They look a bit cool. It's very cold today. You will notice the metal bins. In summer, many bears live here, so all food scraps must be securely sealed. This is a brown bear filmed a couple of summers ago. The lovely Awani's hotel pool was positively steaming, but it's too cold today to tempt me. A cooking school was happening inside the Awani. This looked very interesting. However, our time in the grandeur of Yosemite is over, so we leave as the mist rolls in.